right, let's see if King Root works today. The Galaxy S4. Okay, but it says root strategy. Okay, root access is unavailable. Root strategy available. Just try it. Let's try it. This is the GOH1, I believe, firmware for the SPHL720. <laughs> it should all of a sudden just go bling. <clears throat> Olipop five oh one. Yeah, it looks like it actually might work this time. Hmm. So this is new. Just within the last couple days, I haven't checked it. Mm. Yeah, this phone has never been rooted. It's going. Hmm. I think it might actually work this time. Maybe I should have thought about SIM unlocking or something else. Eh, that might have been a good idea. Before rooting or... Maybe you gotta do this first. Really didn't look into it. I've just been waiting to see if King Root will work. <clears throat> it looks like it's gonna do it this time. Yes, I do think so. Got me a nice rooted... Fresh lollipop. Mm-mm. Tastes like root. Beer, that is. Hee-hee-hee-hee. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna run out of video time here in a second. Uh-huh. Let's get this root on. <clears throat> So it looks like, you know, we're a good four minutes into it now. 56%. It's doing something. It's ripping a hole right through my phone. My old phone, that is. <clears throat> and then the next application. Looks like we had to put it on the next video. We're going to have to take that next application. <gasps> Hot damn! Ah, and you know, I ran this before, uh, run Purify on this, so just under five minutes, rooted. So if I run Purify, 
it does clean up apps, but you got to be careful of what you clean up. But it does help. Before you run the next app, I can't remember what it's called. It's a weird name, but it gets rid of the King Root app and replaces it with Super User. So, I guess I'll do that in the next video. Awesome.